Oh, come on then. <laughs> Hello. Now, for those of you who just want to get straight into the journey from Inverness to Ben Becula, I will leave a time code in the description below and also here. So you can skip straight to that and not have to put up with me blethering through the introduction. But for those of you who choose to stay, thank you. I just thought I'd catch up with you and tell you what this video is about and how it came around and um, our exciting updates here in Uist. And yeah, I've had a, over the past month, a couple of reasons to visit Inverness, a um, couple of medical appointments, and the first time I drove and the second time I decided to fly and the weather on the way back for the plane journey was just stunning so I thought oh this this is this is worth a video in itself so because I'm so excited about it I want to do that first I do have some footage too from the car journey and we stopped off at the Rogie Falls on the way, or I did, I didn't take Dougal, Dougal stayed in Uist. And um, so that'll be another video for another day. But for those of you who watch frequently and you may have noticed that I'm in my new study. I am so excited. Um, it took me about six weeks to, to do the decorating in here. The house I live in is beautiful. I absolutely love it. And it's in fantastic condition. It was just, I wanted to refresh it cosmetically and make it a bit brighter. Um, oh, steady on, Dougal, steady on. Make it a bit brighter, but also didn't want to just throw everything away and get new stuff. So for example, if I, I'll put some before and after pictures in here, you can see before with the curtains and stuff, I did end up donating the curtains and the curtain rail, but I've, I have myself upcycled the wardrobe doors where they were in sort of 1980s, 90s sort of bronze color. I wanted something a bit more contemporary. So I sanded those down. Uh, got some automotive paints, primed them, silver, lacquered, so pleased with it. The pine, um, the varnish pine, um, that took up to six coats uh, with Zinsa, one, two, three, sometimes two coats of that, a coat of undercoat, and then sometimes up to three coats of top coat. So it's been a labor of love. I've resprayed the panel heater. The only thing that's new really is the blind, but I am just so, so, so happy with my study. And now I've got the bedroom to do, just the bedroom and then the bathroom, the kitchen and the living room, and then the hallway, the hallway with all the doors in it. So lots to get on with, but I'm very excited. And I just wanted to show you that because I'm so pleased with it and so pleased how it's changed the ambiance. And it's just made this room now so much brighter i want to be in here and yeah um i will get my picture on the wall and i'm really 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 pleased with my study so there you go as i say we i went to inverness this week for minor surgery nothing to worry about nothing for anyone to to ask or worry about um but it was such a lovely trip back we came back by stornoway and you'll see in the first half the propeller was in the way, and when we stopped at Stornoway, the very lovely cabin crew, Claire, she let me, and the flight crew as well on the deck, they tinkered with things so that I could move, because obviously when you move, they have to rejig the weight. So they let me move to get better view on the way down. And unfortunately, I sat on the port side because I thought we came up the west coast of uh, Uist and Harris and Lewis, and I thought I'd get all the view, but we actually went down the East Coast. So being sat on the port side, um, I didn't get as much as I wanted, but what I did get was just stunning. And unusually, I'm probably not gonna put much music to this one, folks, so you can just sit back and enjoy the journey very much as it is. So um, on that note, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure that your seats are in the upright position, your seat belts are securely fastened, your tray tables are up. I'm rested down and enjoy the flight.
must all be inflated inside the air cramps. Once outside, you push out the downpours in the red toggle and this will inflate your jacket. Should your jacket fail to inflate, there's a top-up tube. The jacket is also fitted with a whistle and the light for attracting attention. Your seatbelt is fastened, adjusted and unfastened as they're shown.
So there you go. I hope you enjoyed that little flight um, over the highlands and islands. It was absolutely stunning. It was really nice and I hope it brought some pleasure to some of you um, to see the islands from a new perspective and also just to, to enjoy travel once again as I really hope, I'm pretty confident we're all going to again in 2021. I really do think that um, as everyone says, we, we've, we've, we've hit the, the beginning of the end and I think things are now just going to consistently get better. Um, maybe slowly, but consistently. So hope you enjoyed that. If you did, folks, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. And it just leaves me to say from Dougal and from me, thanks for tuning in. There. I'm sorry you couldn't come with me, Dougal, but I had to stay overnight and and I couldn't take you on the aeroplane. No, no, I wouldn't put you in the luggage hold, no. You stayed with your friends. Will you? Um. He never smiles.